What's going on guys, it's your boy Turbo Reacts here and we are back with another Attack on Titan Reaction Season 3 and I'm going to be doing in this super reaction guys, but I'm going to be doing this super reaction over the course of two days so you might see a change of clothes over <laughs> the time period, that's about it but it will be a super reaction because I'm not going to put it out until I have all five episodes done which should I should be done by tomorrow night so you guys will have this maybe Sunday morning Saturday night I might just put it out on Saturday night when I'm done but more than likely it's going to be Sunday morning so if I'm finished by Saturday night um then you will have it on Saturday night but if I don't then I'll just schedule it for Sunday morning and you can enjoy it on Sunday. Most of you guys don't do nothing on Sunday morning, so that'll be good. So, yes. So, um, in the last episodes that I watched, last three episodes was very, very, very brainstormy, <laughs> right? A lot of information coming in, and I enjoyed the heck out of it. Because, I listen, I was backtracking. I was like, I need to hear this right now. Um... I was supposed to, I, I said I was going to talk about the Kenny situation. Now, um, I saw the scene, I went back, I was actually discussing this on Discord with a couple of people. Um, I was telling them like what I thought happened because I went back, I was watching the scene over and over. I could, just couldn't grasp why Kenny was that upset. And somebody brought it to my attention that um, it seems like he was upset about the fact that he wanted all this time he was there. He thought he had a chance of becoming what they could become like his bloodline could like anybody could do it and get the power. And it seems like he wanted the power. And that's why he was upset. That's why he said what he said in that moment, because my initial thoughts on it was that he felt some sort of way let me see let me see all right let me go back let me go to um what i what i was thinking at the time be with me here guys for a little bit if you guys are over on the discord link is down in the description go check it out join the discord channel the stuff that we discuss over there like if i have questions that's where i put my questions about stuff that i've seen not spoil spoiler stuff like I don't ask questions for people to spoil me um because I do have moderators so basically I wrote on the discord let me put it over let, 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 let's go over here for a second so you guys can see what the discussion was about really quick okay before we start a reaction here so this is the intro so it doesn't really matter um, so basically I act, so I've been knocking my head over this Kenny scene and I think I understand why he got so upset. My theory is because of this connection with Yuri, um, that's his story is Uncle Rob's brother and Rodri's race or whatever, however you want to pronounce it, unwillingness to inject himself, but instead want his story to do it. Right. I thought that's why he was upset at the fact that, you know, like he was I was thinking in terms of maybe he was trying to protect his story. That's why he went and released Aaron and all of this other stuff. But somebody gave me a better idea. But they're like um, somebody responded to me and they're like you're warm. So they're basically telling me that I'm close to what to what it is. Right. Because I said I don't want no spoilers. So. As I said, I said, let me know if I'm on the right track here or I am way off. That's all I wanted to know, right? Because I was racking my brain thinking about it all day the day after I reacted. So the scene is a bit hard to read because he never showed hostility towards Rod before. So somebody responded to me, a very good response to, right? So they were saying, here's what he got from the scene. He was upset. Because he was planning on taking the Titan power himself. And this time he even asked Rod angrily. So only Ares can eat Eren and become the true king. Even if I ate Eren, nothing would change. Or something along those lines. 
They were basically just paraphrasing what was happening in the scene. Then he gets even more angry at Rod because he knew this all along but didn't say anything to make Kenny stay at his side and do his bidding. That's why he's mad. He stayed with the Reese family and did whatever the, they wanted from him because he wanted to get the power of the kings. Instead, he's being told by Rod that they'll, that it'll never happen because he's not a race. I think he even says that he feels being taken advantage of by Rod. Um, so... It's a it's a great explanation and a, and a great theory. I've still been going through the scene. If you guys have a take on this, if you want, you can go over to the Discord. If you're already in it, respond to that. Or you can leave a comment on this video. It's no biggie. At this point, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still theorizing. I'm still going through it. Hopefully, there's some sort of hint towards why that happened. Um, I'm still not a hundred percent on it, but this, what this guy said does make a lot of sense. So we'll move from that. But a lot of things happen in these three episodes that were very noteworthy. Um, Aaron's disgust with himself, no, know, knowing what his dad did, of course, knowing the good natured person that Aaron is. I mean, even when, you know, he's very hesitant to attack friends. So I never expected that when, um, when, um, when Kenny cut him, that he would have turned immediately. Like we've seen what happened in the past, even with, um, with, um, with Annie, you know, he's always so hesitant to attack friends, you know what I'm saying? And it's only when he's brought to the brink, you know what I'm saying? Even when, when Bert Holt and Reiner was telling him, hey, bro, I'm the armored titan. He's a freaking colossal titan. He still was there saying, man, stop, stop playing around, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he like giving them that, he giving them that wet, that Russell Westbrook face. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. Y'all <laughs> like, niggas tripping. <laughs> right so that was that that he's always hesitated to to attack friends so i never expected him to attack them to just get up and start attacking his story just out of nowhere like you know i knew he was going to resent the fact knowing those men you saw the look on his face and that, that's one of the things that his anime does very well with the music it can tell you stuff that is happening without saying it you know what I'm saying? They do that very well in this anime. So I'm going to go jump into these reactions, man. I want to see what happens next because Rod, he 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 turned into a Titan. So we, I want to know what's going to happen now. Is Eren going to step up? Because Historia went up there. He's like, listen, dude, I'm not about that. I don't care about that. I know now I understand that this dude is my dad is just a selfish asshole. Like they're they're really selfish and they don't care about humanity like on the real they really don't care about humanity so um but he licked the syringe juice off the floor the titan juice and now he's a titan he turned so his job now he's gonna want to eat Aaron. so let's go see what happens there so thank you guys for watching as always link is down in the description go watch it i'm gonna have all five of these episodes in the folder, I'm probably going to do them single by single so they upload faster and, you know, rendered out faster. So thank you guys for watching. As always, these are also going to be available on BitChute. So make sure you go check out the reaction. Then you come back for the review. So I'll see you guys for the review. Peace. Alright, what's going on guys? That you guys are right, man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at that thing frame by frame. I was trying to do it at the at the end of that video. Um I think kept going full screen and I started to use the space bar. Um What is going on in that scene, bruh? Our the flashback, the the um the scratchy part, the the that um that glitchy fact that they were using i was doing frame by frame to see if i can see 
what was happening in between. But it, oh man, I want to have to. If you guys, I mean, I'm caught up now. I'm caught up now. So if you know, if you know of any um, YouTuber that is breaking this down, like frame by frame, and kind of did did some snapshots and stuff off it. Um, it doesn't really matter if they had a if they have a theory or not, because you know I'm gonna have my own theory about it. Um, I just want to see it. Maybe there's a video out there that shows it frame by frame of what happened instead of me going through the whole whole process. So if you guys know a video like that, please send me that link. I would really like to see it. I won't react to it or anything. I would just want to see it frame by frame without having to go because I really don't have the time. To really go through it frame by frame and take pictures and then look at it or whatever whatever so i'm pretty sure somebody has broken that down by now so if you guys find have that link or you know of anybody that does that did it please send me that link i would really appreciate it um so yeah these five episodes that i just reacted to man was pretty was really <sighs> so much information still i mean hype moment at the beginning of course um them killing <sighs> man this guy bro his story is dad man rod rod race or race whatever they call him <sighs> he did all of that just to die him going to the wall to the most populated areas what, what was he trying to do kill as many people or eat as many people with his disgusting face i mean it, it it was it was so nuts i'm glad that is historia that made the decision to to do that it wouldn't have felt right if anybody else did it and i'm glad that we got a chance to see what hear what she was saying to erwin because i really wanted to hear what she was saying to him and it was revealed that she wanted to do that because if she did it then it would be easier for the people to accept her as queen so that was pretty dope and she came up with that not erwin so that was pretty dope um just so much information going through my brain right now because I just watched five freaking episodes. I actually got to watch all five of them. <sighs> They're preparing for war, man. They're preparing to go up against the other people. We got a glance. Um, I think that scene where we saw Berthold Reiner coming with his armor tightened all beat up. I think the beast titan kicked his ass. Like they went up against each other and he kicked kicked Reiner's ass. <laughs> So we so we basically can say we got a glimpse of what the beast titan can be up against another titan. So uh, uh, up against a legit titan, like not a not a um an unconscious titan, but like a conscious intelligent one. So he kicked Reiner's ass, which and it looked like he put some holes in the armor too. I wanna know who this guy is. That's what I want to know. I want to know who he is. The one that's controlling the Beast Titan. That has the Beast Titan form. They're coming for Eren. And they know he's coming. So, I don't know. There's so many good moments of them preparing. So many good moments. Um, the flashback with Kenny. Really cool. Getting to understand. The question that I had in the intro was definitely answered in that flashback. He actually wanted the power of a titan so the um the person in the discord um maybe they answered because they knew the answer <laughs> i don't know but it was basically the same thing but anyways it didn't really spoil anything for me i just i i really wanted to know what was it about i didn't know i was gonna find out in the next episode um the person could have just wrote that but okay <laughs> It's all good, though. It wasn't really a spoiler. I asked the question. They answered. It's no big deal. Anyways. um, So, yeah, this this these five episodes are really cool. Setting up for part two of season three, of course. And I dig it very much. I'm not going to do a long review here because it's way past the time I should be recording. So, as I said, I'm going to be doing a review of probably all three seasons that I've watched. 
up until this point and I'm going to try to break down as many things that I can and give you guys my theory as to go through. I'm going to try to do that video tomorrow and you guys will have it. So instead of you guys having this reaction for wait until Sunday morning, I'm going to try to get this out to you guys tomorrow, actually Saturday, um, because I didn't think I had a time, but because I was skipping the opening, it opened up probably around and some extra time for me to do the last episode. So that was pretty cool. So as I said, in that review, I'm going to be breaking down a lot of things um, from season one up until season three, my theory going into part two of season three. And that's when I'll be talking about a lot of the stuff. So this is just a minor review right now. Just, I mean, the voice acting takes the cake. The voice acting takes the cake in this anime. And the sound the sound design goes right along with it. Um, so far this season, part one of season three, was it was more dialogue heavy because there was a lot of um, reveals, right? A lot of reveals about the Reyes family, about Kenny, about the Ackermans, you know what I'm saying? So about the Jaegers, so it was... You know what I mean? So there was a lot of reveals. So they had they had to go dialogue heavy, and I'm uh, I'm here for it. You know, I love lore when it comes on to anime. I love the lore more than the action a lot of times because, you know, shonen. <laughs> you know, all they care about is the fighting, and I like animes that take their time to tell a story. I love that. So. Thank you guys for listening as always, man. You guys have been super supportive on these videos and I can't stop thanking you guys. I'm really, really, I'm a gracious, gracious person right now because um, I'm humbled. I'm humbled because we just hit 1,600 subscribers on the channel. You guys congratulated me. I didn't expect any congratulations, but thank you guys, you know, and none of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you guys for watching as always. Leave a like. Leave a like on this video. And also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of these five episodes, man. It was dope. Thank you guys for listening as always. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys later. Peace.